a week since I posted the Q&A video and I got around 10 questions. The DVD free comment a couple of questions last night and haven't really got questions the last couple days so I'm going to answer what everyone asked now. First question comes from WWE Space Fan Space Guy. Do you think WWE should bring back TV 14? No. The reason is, it's not the 90s anymore. Everything in the 90s was edgier, you can get away with blood, you can get away with sex, you could pretty much get away with anything during that time period on the TV. Nowadays, to have blood, it has to be shown after 10. To talk about sex, you have to be shown after 10. It would make Raw be pushed back a lot later into the night, which would hurt the ratings a lot. And also, the way they would be going, the talent they have, they don't in particularly need the blood in the matches to make it good. They're great in the ring telling stories like Finn Balor, AJ, Nakamura, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn. Those guys can tell a story without using violent weapons, without having blood on the TV, without having explicit content. They can tell a great story by just putting on a match. So I don't honestly think WWE needs to go back to TV 14. Next question comes from Mac Jones. Do you play Fortnite? Not really. <laughs> I've tried. I suck. I will admit I am a terrible Fortnite player. I think I'm level 2. I played it once on the phone and got first place. I don't know how. I didn't even know what I was doing. Um, I play it on and off if I really don't have anything to play and just want a quick game. I am terrible. I just... I suck at finding guns. I just go around and break stuff and collect the material and die instantly. So I do play it. Do I enjoy it? Eh, I think it's just kind of there if I want a quick game. Next question comes from Ben Richman. Who do would you choose to meet? Rock or Stone Cold? Pretty sure it's supposed to be who would you rather meet? The Rock or Stone Cold? Um, rock all the way. Just because Stone Cold still does meet and greets. Stone Cold did a meet and greet at this year's WrestleMania. So I can say that I believe that Stone Cold will do more meet and greets coming in, in the future. So meeting him would be a lot easier. The Rock is next to impossible to meet. He doesn't do appearances. He's huge in the movies. And he was honestly great on the mic in the Attitude Era, so I'm simply going with Rock just because he's impossible to meet these days and any opportunity to meet that man is something you need to jump on. Next question comes from The Renegade. Who would you rather see return? CM Punk or Stone Cold, by the way. All the questions are on here. Uh, CM Punk. Main reason, Stone Cold's too old to wrestle and he wouldn't be able to put on the uh, high star matches that he used to, so I think him returning... Kind of have to be like a Goldberg thing where his matches be really quick. And, I mean, I love Stone Cold. I would like to see him return as a manager, but not a ring competitor. I go with CM Punk. He's still in the prime. He can still compete. Five-star matches. He needs to get out of UFC. He lost one fight. It took over a year for them to even give him another one because they didn't think he would draw money even though he wanted to have a match. So, I would like to see CM Punk step away from MMA because I don't believe they're treating him properly like an MMA superstar. And come back to wrestling. He'll make a lot more money. He can make any kind of appearance you want. And you can put on a great match with anyone. So, the next three questions come from the DVD Freak. First one is the, uh, the DVD I hate the most. Oh. See, that's hard because there's, there's not really like DVDs that I would say that I hate. And don't want to put back on like my player or anything but there's DVDs I'm I would say disappointed in any kind of pay-per-view that sucked from the top of the card to the bottom um Night of Champions 07 was really bad uh, I would have to say the top 50 OMG moments just because that music is so annoying that I don't know if I can sit through that again but Honestly, I don't really know if I could pick like a single one. I would just say the sets that I hate more than just sets that just have horrible content Honestly would be uh, pretty much the worst DVDs that have anything from the 70s also Like if I have a really old-school DVD, I don't tend to watch like 90% of it So it's kind of like a throwaway DVD for me. It's just kind of one that I had to complete the collection so yeah, I know it's kind of like a vague answer, but I just, I don't know if I can pick like a single one out. Next is DVD that you want the most. Now this one is not a WWE release. This is an ROH release. 
is the 2003, the first, I guess you can say, pay-per-view or like DVD recorded appearance that they had. The reason I want this is it's the one appearance of Eddie Guerrero in ROH and has AJ Styles, Daniel Bryan, Christopher Daniels, um, Eddie Edwards, Roderick Strong, has all these huge independent names that 90% of them are in WWE right now. Uh, Samoa Joe's also in there, Bobby Roode was on there too. Like, all these huge names on the DVD, even though it happened 15 years ago, I think to go back and see those matches would be incredible, and it's also the rarest ROH DVD. So if I ever had a chance to get that DVD, I would. I would probably pay upwards to $50 to $60 for it if I could find it. Favorite non-Big Four pay-per-view, Money in the Bank. That was an easy one for me. Even though Money in the Bank is getting turned into a Big Five pay-per-view, as the rumors are saying, Money in the Bank may be into the next big thing. But Money in the Bank, it has exciting matches. I love ladder matches more than anything. The winners were surprised. Like last year, I didn't see Carmella or Baron Corbin winning the matches completely. So that was a huge surprise. And I like seeing the cash-ins because throughout the entire year, you never know when they're going to cash in. At least Carmella had a successful one when she wasn't supposed to have a successful cash-in. So I'm glad to see that she did it, even though I think she's terrible as a champion right now. But overall, Money in the Bank, by far, favorite non-Big Four pay-per-view. So thank you everyone for your questions. If you do have any more that you did not comment in time, feel free to comment them under this video and if I get 10 questions again I will do another answer to all your questions. So make sure to like this video and subscribe because there's always more to come.